Hello YouTubers, I'm making another video for this evening. Um, it's just a friend sent to me mail um, about how to control a servo using an 8051. Um, in this case, it was using the Atmel 89 S51 microcontroller. So initially, um, I was working with the Micro C Pro for 8051, but I didn't get any chance to working properly. I had no support from uh, Micro C. On how to get into jobs working so i had to just abandon that and move back to my old versions so of of the car micro version micro vision um that was one of the best um id devices i i ever started programming with so i still had my version 3 lying around i had to just quickly have it installed and um how to just put up a small code for that so um as we all know um if you're not well first with um Micro vision. Um, you can you can put up a comment in the I make another video on how to start up a project using micro vision. So we can see we include the um, at x 51h and that becomes the header for the microcontroller we're going to want to program to. And please, um, I'll, I'll put out a videos um, if you need help on, on micro vision. So I quickly just put up a small code like this, which I'm going to upload down. Um, into my Dropbox and I'm going to make it public so in case you want to have um, access to it um, it becomes easy for you to use so basically um, it's servo and then you just tell it the, the angle at which you want to move so for this one like this um, I program to move at 50 degrees um, negative 50 degrees and we can see I have um, already my simulator and if I run you can see the code there it's already been loaded um, an MDP that we are actually okay. So and bear in mind if you check the clock frequency is gonna affect the PWM. So I'm gonna show you how to do the calculations for that. Okay, so when I run we can see we have negative 47.7. That means uh, we have a point three left. Let me change uh in here to let's say we want to move 80 degrees. Since we know the several moves from negative 90, okay, it gives us 82.3. Okay, so that's basically it. And we all know the servo um, needs to work at about 50 hertz. Every servo basically works around 50 hertz. So that's what we have there. It's working fine. And for the time of calculation, uh, we need to get to know what crystal we're using. Um, for this um, example, I just put up a type of for. 11.05592. So since we know the 8051 has um, a division of 12, we're going to divide our, our, our crystal frequency by 12 to give us um, whatever we want in MS. Once we're done, we divide the MS and then we get the value in US. That's this value. This value becomes what we are going to use to find any value we need. So here you can see here, so for 50 US, just divide 50 US by that, it's going to give you 46 point blah 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 but we can't deal with decimals here so we took it away so it's going to become first decimal change it to hexa decimal is going to become a 2e once you're done with that you just subtract um um, um f f f f x minus the 2e x is going to give you the value um to put it up in your th0 and then the tl tl0 since that will be used for for the timing okay so if you have any questions about this project and you want to know more about how to control your servos using an 8051, you can put a comment out there, you can send me an email, but all the same, I'm posting up this code um, for people who want to use it. Um, thanks to 8051 um, um, website, um, they, they helped me a lot um, come up with my programming skills. Thank you. Bye-bye.